Welcome back to the show. 615 the current time traffic tracker crash Clark here with you. You ever think twice when an ambulance is going down the road, the sirens are going off and you think about what's happening inside that ambulance. Well, that's exactly what we did. We went inside the sirens to find out what goes on a day in the life of an EMT. Check this out. When tragedy strikes, Hi, yes, um, I, I need an ambulance. I'm in my home. Many times, your life is put in the hands of these men and women. Today, we're going beyond the sirens to see all that goes into being an EMT. In an ambulance, you usually have a paramedic and an EMT. So basically, the call comes into 911, then it gets dispatched to the units, and the units respond to that location. When we get there and do our assessments, transport, whatever we need to do. So we could be in the back of the van right here, and there's a lot going on. There's a lot imagine. going on back there. I think I might need a uniform. You wouldn't have to I have a spare one for you. I got one for you. You got one? I'm sorry. Somebody need an EMT? We're going to simulate somewhat of a cardiac arrest. Okay. He's going to point you in directions how to do things. Okay. You'll kind of see how chaotic it can get. Typically on a cardiac arrest, you're going to have somebody doing compressions, somebody to get an IV, okay. and somebody's always going to be on airway. When they're not breathing, we're okay. going to breathe for them, okay? Okay. Key thing here is, is with this blade, you want to get under the, this just moves the implants up. There's a tube, and, and, you, and I'm going to do the tube, you're too? You're going to do the tube, too. So I'm, am I left-handed pulling up and then just sliding the tube in? Now you can go ahead and pull that out. Go ahead and pull that out. Okay. There you go. You got it. I got it. Awesome job. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Count out loud the third. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now when we get close to the ER, somebody's going to have to call in report, tell them you got a cardiac arrest coming. So typically what I do is I call dispatch say, hey, call the ER for me. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that way we can continue doing this. Listen, that was two of us doing it. Right. Right? That's tough. Now, if, if something happens and everybody's busy, there's only one of us doing it, that's tougher. You know, we're there when a lot of people are born and when a lot of people, you know, die, unfortunately. Right. But we're at people's sides during their hardest times of life. Yeah. So uh, it's an honor to do it, and uh, it's a very rewarding career, and uh, we enjoy doing it. Well, we appreciate you doing it, man. Awesome, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Have a good one. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, it was really intense. I mean, I know obviously we only had the dummy in there, but I mean, simulating the cardiac arrest while we were heading to the, mm -hmm. to the hospital, doing the compressions, intubating, and then getting the IV while you're moving. Keeping you know, your balance? How yeah. That had to be hard. I mean, it's intense. You really got to respect what the men and women do there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is a daily basis from the time they wake up till the time they go to sleep. You never know when that call is going to come. But it makes you think twice when you see that ambulance yeah. going down the road. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what's going Get on in the there? Way. Life or death. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Incredible. This, this is a great reminder get out of the way because mm -hmm. so many times we're on the road and yeah. I see so many different uh, yeah. first responders driving down and people don't even move yeah it's a matter of seconds mm -hmm. you know somebody's life in the in the balance there so yeah that was that was uh, but you said you intubated that dummy on the first try on the first try yeah, maybe you were you, born to be I, an EMT I, 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 you know I, I don't know if I can handle the stress I was I was a little like you know I had the Ooh. I had the clammy <laughs> palms I was like oh my gosh you know it really it looked intense yeah mm -hmm. it was Goodness it really gracious. was good job good job Thank how can you. they reach out to you if Thank they if, you. If, if they want you to do a, a day in the life uh, their job. Contact us, send us a, a tweet. You can use the hashtag Morning Rush ATL, um, you know, to, to my Twitter. And uh, yeah, we'll certainly line it up because uh, it's. A, I'm sure there's a lot of interesting wow. things out there, the men and women, the professionals. Yeah.